how to use this slido for a quiz hello and welcome to our channel on this video i'm going to show you how you can use this slido for a quiz so please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial and to create an account on slido you could also use my affiliate link below the description where in a small commission at no additional cost to you and by using the link you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up but before that if you don't know what is this slido it is an interactive platform designed to enhance audience engagement during meetings events and educational settings through live polling, Q&A sessions, and quizzes. And it serves as a bridge between speakers and their audiences, allowing participants to submit questions and responses in real time using their devices without the need for downloads. And this tool is particularly beneficial for facilitating open conversations and ensuring that attendance and attendees can contribute anonymously, thereby increasing the quality and quantity of questions posed. And now to start creating an account on Slido, just click the link in the description or you could also click this get started for free button below. Then you will be directed on this page and it will show you that you can sign up here using your WebEx and also Google and by filling out all of this required information below here. Then click create an account button to proceed. And after signing up, we will be able to be directed on this page right here. And it will ask you where will you use Slido. So let's say I'm going to choose education and after that, it will also ask you how are you planning to use Slido. So just choose your option in here and click the continue button below to proceed. You'd also select here some other options to what tools to use for work. Or you could also skip this part if you want to. And from here it will also ask you what are you hoping to achieve by this or using Slido. Then click the continue button after selecting your answer. And now below here to proceed, kindly click this go to your dashboard button right here. And upon clicking on it, we will automatically be directed in this dashboard of Slido. And on the left side panel, it will show you a bright option that you can start navigating with here my Slido's team, analytics, tutorials, and many more. And now to start creating a quiz, just click this create a Slido button. And from here on this pop-up window, just enter here the start date that you want to use this Slido and also the end date in here. And below you could also name of your Slido. And after filling out all of this required information, just proceed by clicking this create a slido button right here then you will now be able to be directed in here in which you can now start inviting your participants in your slido in here and by simply opening this slido you can now start customizing the content of it or your interactions with your participant and from here it will show a variety of interaction that you could also create with your audience and q a multiple choice word cloud open text ranking rating and quiz in here so basically all of this kind of interaction can be used as a quiz during in your meeting or your class in which each participant in your class can also ask for a question by doing the audience Q&A in here clicking this add button on the left side panel we'll be able to see here that we can start collecting or receiving the audience Q&A but before that to share this kind of slido just click the share button on the top panel and from here it will show you the link that we can copy and send directly to our participants or even the QR code that they can scan and also the code number or the password on the top panel in order for them to join in our Slido meeting and now to present just click this present button on the top right corner and upon clicking on it will automatically be directed on the next tab in which it will show us what it looks like if you are the one presenting or you are the admin of Slido so basically your participants can simply go to slido.com and to join to your workspace or your Slido meeting, they can simply enter this kind of code below here. So that means they don't need to actually download the application or platform in order to join in here. So now going back in here, we could also add here more interactions that we can choose from aside from audience Q&A. Since by clicking this plus add new button, from here you could also choose either kind of multiple choice, word cloud, open text, ranking, and many more. And let's say we're making a quiz which is contain a multiple choice so kind of click this multiple choice button and from here just simply enter here the question that you would like to ask to the audience of your meeting for instance the first question is simple which is what is the color of grass and below you can simply enter some of the option that they can choose from let's say i'm going to enter here blue the option two will be green well for the third option which is yellow or maybe we can choose red so basically you can see blood here more option depending on your preferences and if you also want to start customizing this multiple choice question you can simply click the poll settings on the top right corner 
and it will show you the option to either multiple options mark correct answers by clicking this one or turning on just simply click the correct answer in here and now to proceed kind of click the start interactions button to proceed upon clicking on it it will show us that we have now currently presenting this kind of multiple choice question so if you go back on this page it will show us in here the multiple choice and this is basically what the participant will see if they try to join to our slido but going back in here we could also adhere or kind of questioned or quizzes however if you go back on this page right here below you could also navigate some other options including these settings to make it full screens height controls and even show the correct answer in which it will show us in here and the participant will know the correct answer on this page and from here you could also see the amount of percentage of participant who answer all of this kind of option in here so you could see how many people answer correctly or those people who answer differently now going back in here by clicking this add new button we can also add here new interactions for example this word cloud and for this question of word cloud it will show us below here the result in which if the student try to click or enter the word it will automatically appear below here for example the question is what comes to your mind when you hear the word brain and below you could also act as a participant by clicking this view as participant button and from here it will show us what the participant will see and from here it will show us here the Q&A where the participant can simply ask a question in here that they want to ask in your class or in your discussion in here and they could also start asking a question anonymously so they don't need to enter their name in here for example one of the questions that I'm going to ask for example is this one which is what is the name of the character for example your storytelling and they ask you this kind of question and by clicking the send button since they don't need to enter here their name to ask the question anonymously then they will appear in here if some other participant try to click the like button which indicates that they also want to ask this kind of question and after that we'll be able to start answering the question that will be pop up in our screen now going back on this word cloud by clicking the start interaction button it will show us that the word cloud has now being presented so the participant can simply enter here the word or the answer in here and after that just click the send button below to proceed for example if a participant try to click or enter here the word thinking and below they could also add here another word but that is just only an optional and after entering here all of the word that they comes to their mind when they hear the word brain you can now proceed by clicking the send button to proceed and upon sending it we will be able to see your result that their answer has now been compiled in here so if we go back on this page it will show us what it looks like as a presenter and below you could also see the show q and in order to see the question from other participant and by clicking this arrow icon right here we can now start highlighting it which indicates that we are trying to answer this kind of questions by participant and if you're not done answering you can simply click this check button in order to remove the question now going back in here it will show in here all of the answer by the participant but aside from this word cloud you could also navigate some other interactions in other quizzes we have here open text to ask participants to answer in their own words ranking to ask participants to ask a list of options in their preferred order or the rating in order to submit the rating on the scale and even this quiz to run a fun quiz with leaderboard at the end but all of this kind of interaction can be used as a quiz on this slido but overall, that is just basically how you could use this Slido for quiz. Thank you.